Okay everyone, let's stretch. So, I'm going to do lots of different routines, but this one I'm going to use a board. So, stand one step away from a board or a step, put one foot on the board, lift your toe, sink the bum under, go down. Make sure your knee's in line with your ankle and your knee's in line with your hip. Sit nice and tall. The leg that's forward, arm comes out, stretch. Very important that you stretch your wrists as well. Rotate. Take your toe to the floor. Lean forward. I have done this stretch forever. I really like using a board, but I'm going to do loads of different ones. So ones on the floor, etc. So feel the stretch in your in your calf muscle. Just lean forward again, making sure your knee doesn't come over the toe. Face forward, hands on your waist to give yourself support. Engage your core. Breathe. So this back leg is going to come in and then you're going to put your toe on the board, lift up and lead in with the chest, go down. Feel it in the back of this straight leg, which is your hamstring. Again, keeping your head up, don't put your head down, head up, hands on the waist if you need to, if you can, just pull back slightly on the toe, relax into the board and push your bum back and you feel it right down the back of your leg. Hold this for as long as you need to, or move on, take the toe down, shin stretch. And release, let's do the other side. So, again, step back from the board, the opposite leg goes on, lift the toe, bend the knee, squeeze under, sink down. So we've got quadricep, hip flexor, and now we have the forearm. So for all of you that are getting pains in your wrists and your elbows, this is perfect for you. Stretch is very important. You have to stretch after every single workout. It'll improve your workouts. It'll make you stronger. Okay? Sink an inch. Ooh, feel it. If you can't feel that, you need to tuck under a bit more. Sit taller. Engage your core. Again, check in on your form. It's always nice to do this in a mirror. So, toe goes to the floor. Lean forward. Nice straight body line. Feel it in your calf. Enjoy it, stretch it through, try and go a little bit further, again making sure that you can see that your knee's not going over your toe. That straight leg is going to come in. Again, heel on the board, lift up, lead with the chest, down you go. If you can't touch your toe, that's fine, it will come. Hands on the waist if you need to. Sit back, again, pushing your bum back. Feel that ease off. Take your toe down, shin stretch. Lift up, come back into your hamstring stretch. Okay, let's mix it up a little bit. So I've purposely come onto the corner so you can see from both sides. Put one foot, the foot that you've just stretched on the board, and the other foot is going to come to the back of the board. And you're just going to relax your leg and push your shin into the board, nice and tall in the body release, give that a rotate, then take your foot that you've just stretched and take it down on the back of the board. Now relax your knee and just let it fall, feeling it on your calf. Okay, while we're here, hold this stretch, we're going to add in our arms. So tricep stretch on the same side as your stretch, making sure that you're not pulling on the, on the elbow. You can either come forward, you can pull back. Or if you're really flexible, you can try and touch your hands. <laughs> okay, feel that calf stretch. Just take it down a little bit further. Really important. If we're doing skipping, a lot of you are finding that you're struggling with your skipping. This will help. Release the arms. Release the leg slowly. Rotate the ankle. Okay, let's do that one again. Same leg. Down you go. This time, we're going to do a deltoid stretch. Making sure that you're not up or down. It's nice and straight. Just pull it in slightly. Right, this time bend your knee just very slightly. Take it down into the soleus, which is just um, at the back of your ankle. Again, for skipping, brilliant. Running, brilliant. Straighten it up again. Release your arms and release the legs. So we're going to do that same side, uh, on the other side. So find your stretch, your nice calf stretch again. Let's set up the body. Your core's are engaged. Your knee's nice and soft and you're just going to sit back 
onto your calf stretch, which is just below the knee. You should feel it just there. Okay, so let's add that tricep stretch. Feel it. Sink down. Again, if you're strong enough, touch your fingers. I'm better at one side than the other, but I can just touch my fingers this side. Release. Rotate. Okay. Let's find that stretch. Again, let's bend the knee slightly and take it down into the soleus. Adding on the dental stretch, checking our form. Straighten out the leg, take it back into your calf stretch. How beautiful is this on the beach? <laughs> release the arms, release the legs. Well done, take a step back. So, knees together. Let's do some quadriceps, nice big muscle here. So, engage your core. If you need to hold on to something, you can. Knees together, push forward. And release. I'm going to step up so you can see me a bit clearer. So, knees together. Knees together. There you go. You can just about see me in this. Camera. I hope I've still got a head. <laughs> really push forward with the hips. Again, engaging the core. Well done. Have a stretch. Okay, sink down. Round off the arms. Oh, put the head between the shoulder blades. Lift the head. Hands around to the back. Cross your fingers. Chest stretch. Really big stretch. Feel it in your shoulders. Push back. Shoulder roll for two. Do that stretch again. Back you go, and release, and give yourself a very awesome clap. I'm going to do loads of little stretches, awesome little stretches, and then you can pick and choose how you want to mix it up. So I'm going to do some floor ones, I'm going to do some back ones, but that's my favourite stretch to do after my workout or just after my warm-up. So, enjoy that. Hope it helps. Bye. Have a good day.